This video is specially made for the moment that this channel has reached 10,000 subscribers. So we're going to find the smallest natural number n such that n factorial ends with 10,000 zeros. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. We define n factorial as follows. For the negative integers n, if n is 0, then the factorial is 1, or if n is at least 1, so that means natural numbers, then we multiply all natural numbers from 1, 2, 3, all the way up to n. So for example, 5 factorial is 120, 6 factorial is 720, and so on. So here I listed a few um, small factorials up to 11 factorial, and you can see that the numbers are growing um, quite rapidly. In this question, we are asking about the trailing zeros of these factorials. So you may notice that when we are only talking about 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 factorial, there is only one trailing zero. When it's uh, 10 or 11, 11 factorial, then we have two trailing zeros. So the question is, when will we have 10,000 trailing zeros at the end of the number of those factorials? We can rephrase the question by writing n factorial to be equal to, say, 10 to the power a times the number big N, where 10 does not divide big N. So that means we've taken out all the factors of 10 and keep dividing n factorial by 10, and the number that remains is the natural number n. Of course, we specify the n's a natural number. And this number a is ex will be exactly the number of trailing zeros of n factorial. Now we can further rewrite this um, equation into n factorial equals 2 to the a times 5 to the a times big N simply because 10 is equal to 2 times 5. Now here comes the question. When we try to decompose n factorial, as in we consider the form 1 times 2 times 3 all the way up to n, you should know that the even factors, say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on, there are lots of sources that will contribute factors of 2. And on the other hand, factors of 5 are kind of um, rarer than uh, factors of 2. So we can further reinterpret the statement as to find, to only focus on how far can we divide n factorial by 5? Not considering dividing by 10, but only consider, only to consider dividing by 5. Now if we focus on this, then we can look at the multiples of 5 inside n factorial. Say for example, if we're considering like 123 factorial, then it's just 1 times 2 times 3 all the way up to 123 and we, we can see that each multiple of 5 makes that a increase by 1 so there are 24 of them because 123 um, 1 to 123 contains 24 multiples of 5 so there are 24 of them and that's actually from the floor function of 123 divided by 5. Furthermore, each multiple of 25 can further make a increase by 1. Further make a increase by 1. So there's an extra four numbers 
say 25, 50, 75, and 100 that would uh, make this contribution. And we can actually iterate this, like each multiple of like 5, 25, and there's 125. That would give some um, extra contribution of factors of 5. But uh, we are only talking about 1 to 123, so there's nothing left. Now from this idea, we can, we can make a formula for this, um, for this index A. We can say that for n factorial, I can directly write equal, equals to the floor function of n over 5 plus the floor function of n over 25 all the way being n, making this an infinite series. So this is the formula to calculate the number of training series of n factorial. Of course, this um, formula, um, it seems to be an infinite series, but it will definitely stop because um, at some point there will be some powers of 5 that is greater than this number n. So it's calculatable. Now to find the smallest n such that this series would add up to be 10,000, this is our question. The way I do this is to establish a bound on this uh, sum of floor functions. In fact, it must be smaller than this series, n over 5 plus n over 25 plus n over 125 and so on. We are really making this an infinite series and we make use of the um, sum of geometric series, infinite geometric series, and that's taking the first term over 1 minus the common ratio. The common ratio here is 1 fifth, so by calculating we know that is n over 4. Now we know that we want this thing to be 10,000 and in fact it's smaller than this n over 4. So therefore we, know, we can say that n over 4 is greater than 10,000. So that means the end that we want must be at least 40,000. So after establishing a bound, then we can uh, try to, we can try the value of 40,000 and see uh, how far this number is from our answer. In fact, number of trailing zeros of 40,000 factorial is um, the sum of these floor functions and the numbers are 8,000, 1,600, 320, 64, 12 and 2 and the terms afterwards are all zero so we ignore them and in fact, after that, um, we can say that the series has actually terminated. So the sum of these numbers are 9,998. So we know that if we look at 40,000 factorial, then that number will end with 9,998 zeros. And we need um, to multiply a few more numbers so to um, create two more extra uh, trailing zeros at the end. And that can be done by adding by keep I should say by keep multiplying until we get two more multiples of five so that's um, uh, to obtain that we need um, to multiply up to 40,010 so that's our final answer I hope you enjoyed the video Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.